Yo, welcome back to the channel. So, back at the bungalows, as you can see, we've put the posts in for our barrier. There they are. We've cut them all at 1.9 meter because I don't need it to be too high because I want to get um, a view of the mountain across the way from when I'm sitting in the garden and that. So, I don't want to. That's what I'm going to. That's the view I'm going to have a fence and then above that, I'll have a little view of these houses on the mountain which is everybody's dream that's my dream it's not really but that's what people's dream is isn't it to own something like that a paradise mason and house like that right overlooking the sea on the coast that's paradise that so there we go i ain't got that i've got this so yesterday i wasn't here from 3 30 till 5 because i took the kids to the beach so they've put these posts in the gate they're actually gate posts these ones the other one's a round post for the barrier. They put these in. I don't know how tall they are. But what I do know is I seriously doubt they've done them how I want. I wanted these concreted in. And they've got to be at the right distance. They've got to be level. So I'm going to hang gates off them. So I'm going to have to dig these out. They'll just have rocks in the bottom of them. I bet they're not. I mean, the gates are quite heavy. Did you move around? Look at that. I can wobble the whole fucking thing. It's useless, that. Get them out. Get them out. Yalla. Both of them. They need to be cemented in. It's my fault. I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them what that. I didn't think they'd get round to doing those, to be honest with you. But I'm getting the barriers in round the back here because, as you can see, this plot here, this has been freshly sold. It's sold for $2,000 for this plot here. I guess it's about 300 metres shy up just a little bit less than 300 meters it's good enough to build a house at the back a little toilet area eating area a driveway for park your motorbike or something it's good it's that all they need so somebody's got lucky somebody's happy this one here is for sale and the guy who owned th this one this one this one and this one he decided to sell them all off separately first of all he sold this one with the free huts to a guy in Tanner and then I came along and bought it off the guy in Tanner then he sold this one the other day then he sold that one this little plot here so he pretty much landlocked this <laughs> this this land here all this land this 400 meter here it's got neighbors on every single boundary so it's pretty much landlocked it he, he does own this hut so he could technically knock the hut down and give them a road through or maybe at the very back of the hut or something i don't know but it's, it just leads to a path that whereas this side here leads to a road where you can where you can drive a car so yeah bungalows are coming on the well's up we've got it done it just needs it. i did want them i wanted them to make these 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 stones nice you know with the cement all the way around it all pointed up nice but that's what they left it like so that option's gone. Now I'm gonna have to sand cement the whole thing. Probably for the best anyway. And even the cement on the inside. I'm gonna have to sand cement the inside as well, I guess. Later on it'll be nice. I don't need to do any more with it. It's good for now. Eventually all I need to do is sand cement it all, then clean the bottom out until so fresh water can come in and then it's all good. Got nice clean water for washing the plates and washing people basically good happy days need to get these foundations up to the right level as well as you can see the foundation's pretty poor quality the way he's done it like but he did tell me he's never had one lesson when it came to doing foundations on a house and this is the first time he did it so but i'll build them up build these foundations up to about here or something about there Just build them up 10 centimeter five centimeter make them a little bit bigger because soon the rains are going to come and when the rain comes i don't want the rain getting in over my foundation and it's probably like a river i've been told it's like a river running down this road here when the rains come and it is going downhill so i built my my land up ever so slightly just just to give it a bit of a chance there you go Izzy, go and get another lapel why have you only got one lapel and Taylor Lahi? 
You're not in England working on the roads. Yeah, that's you. You need to take this out, this one here, get it out, Miala. Look at it. Look. Look at that. Are you for real? Look at it. Look. I've got a hanger I've got a hang gates on it. Gate. Gate post. Mila cement. Cement. Mila cement. Mila cement Mahari, these. Mila Mahari. Good. I've, I've set them back a bit. Realistically. This guy here needs to bring, on the left here, needs to bring his land back to here because the road's quite wide there. And when you come here, it's, it's, it's small. You've got banana leaves and everything in the way of it. It's a barrier hanging off into the road, like, you know, dangerous. And it's too small. So hopefully he'll bring, his, he'll bring that back. But if he doesn't, I can use this road here ahead of us. There's a road here and there's a road there just to the right that goes up to a decent road as well. This one's probably a better choice because this lake leads to Dar Salama, which is the main tourist district. All this land's getting sold off though, fast. So I've, I've decided enough is enough. Put me barrier in before somebody comes along and starts saying, that's my land, I've just bought that. I'm not having that. That's a big problem in Madagascar. The first thing you should do, I mean, I made the mistake here because I got lazy, but the first thing you should do is put your barrier in. As soon as, as, soon as you buy land, bang the posts in like this and get a barrier in, similar to this one maybe. Just a simple barrier for now just to get you secure and say, that's mine. Don't, 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 don't come and take it. Don't try and take it, it's mine. Yeah, because if you don't, it's like the taxi bus seats. When you're on a taxi bus, if you if you give give somebody a centimetre of foot room, you move your foot slightly, twitch it, they'll they'll take that foot room away from you. It's gone for, for the next twelve hour of your bus ride. And it's the same with land. If you're not watching it, they'll creep it back metre by metre or half a metre by half a metre. Some people's terrains just disappear completely. You know, some people's land they they have land one year and five years later it's gone. And if you buy land in Madagascar, right, and you don't do anything with it for 20 years, somebody can just take it. And you've got no right to keep it. It's gone. If you haven't done anything with it. Whoa. What are you doing? Salama, madame. Thank you. Ah. Use these cows for the um, rice fields. Just for pulling plows and that. And maybe the if they're lucky they can get a couple of calves like they've got there and they can sell them for profit to somebody else when they're a bit bigger the way they are now they're not worth anything and they take years to grow that's the problem with cows they don't just grow like like an egg like an like a chicken in, in 60 days they're fully growing like here in madagascar they um they take like seven years or something to get fully grown it takes a long time but there you go and some of these probably don't get enough food either, like. It's pretty cool around here though. Look at that. <laughs> and one minute I'm, I'm in my hut. Just over there, five minutes away, is the beach resort of Dar Salama, the one of the most busiest tourist re beach resorts in the whole of Madagascar. And here, it's like being in the in the forest area. You've got these guys over here. They're beating rice. They've cut the rice down, they're beating it to get the seeds out from the stalks. And the stalks are used as, as cow food. And, and the, um, the rice is tucked to the machine and it's got a little cover on it, like a, a peanut's got a cover on it. The, the machine shakes and vibrates the, the covers off. So it's just clean rice underneath. That goes into the sack. And then if you're very, very clever, you store it for like three months until it's not rice season anymore. And um, you can sell it for like an extra 50%. Nice business in Madagascar is the stockage business. You buy beans that last a year, like like Kabaru, Taramasu, things like that. Any beans, pretty much. You buy them and you stick them in sacks and then you put them in, in a dry storage in your house or in a room, a bedroom or whatever. And then um, three months later, you can double your price, double your money on them. You can sell them for twice as much. 
in the city. You've just got to transport them from the forest on a taxi bus roof and get them back. And you've got to, you've got to find people who won't rob you because they've got all sorts of tricks to, to rob you on weights and measures. Like the balances are, 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 are false. You know, they'll, they'll put them on a slant when they when they, they'll put um, two different pans. They have pans on each side of the balance. Like you know, you see on the justice where you got like the, that, that type of old school balance with one plate on one side, one plate on the other, right? They have them, but they have, they make the plates one one plate's like fifteen gram, twenty gram heavier or a hundred gram heavier than the other plate, and then they trick you so you lose a hundred gram each time you each time you do a plateful. So you got to be very careful with that. But if you can find a decent person to do business with and buy beans from and buy and buy the kilo or something and you take your own measuring thing in a pickup truck some sacks you can make serious coin serious coin make like 50 guaranteed 50 percent profit guaranteed 50 percent after all the costs it's easy money um it's the hard part is getting enough product to store because obviously you need it's nice nice plan is, is to get like 100 million in cash twenty thousand dollars or twenty five thousand dollars or something and um buy beans with it and then you when you when you sell them you get like forty thousand dollars back or something happy days you made like decent coin aren't you fifteen thousand dollars each season you can do it four times a year with different products different types of beans different things you can even do it with, with other vegetables and onions and transport onions and from one one city to another you get big profit off that that involves messing around with with lorries though owning lorries and that and that can be a problem on the roads in madagascar because the, the lorries are normally old the roads are bad the drivers are unexperienced and um you've got staff as well involved in it who can rob you it's, so you want to keep your operation smallish to a certain degree so you just got one of your wife's family members or one of your husband's family members that are mad at gas working for you doing it and make decent coin but for now we're back here at the bungalows in nosy b and they've got them digging this hole again i bet the hole wasn't even deep enough that's it they're gonna make it wider Got this shovel here. Let's have a look at that, that lapel here. That's that lapel. Lapel. That's it here. Put it here to her. This here. Put it down, man. Like that. Oh, that there. There you go. This lapel here, this shovel, is made out of a scaffolding pole. They've just opened it up at the, at the end. And it's solid, like, great for digging holes. <laughs> So, need to get some uh, materials, but I ain't got enough money. I've got no money because I thought I've got two bank accounts that I use. You got to have more than one bank account, and um, I've got two bank accounts that I use from the UK. So, and one of them ran out of money. I didn't even realise, but I had like twenty twenty dollars left in it or something. And I tried to withdraw a hundred, and it was like you ain't got enough money. So I was like, ah, oh, no way. That sucks because I need big money tomorrow. So now I've got about $40 in my pocket and I've got I'm hoping that the money's been transferred from one bank to the other and I can just go and withdraw it out of the cash machine because I'm going to need all of it all the money I can get out today which is it total about $400 $500 I can get out a day and I need all of that because I'm buying a badger today a tuk tuk and um, to, to rent out basically just for passive income hopefully I'm going to it's second hand yeah a brand new one is 15 million i've paid seven and a half million which is less than two thousand dollars or something i paid for it about one thousand seven hundred dollars or something like that so i should be able to get a serious return on it i'm going to document it all down work out the exact profits and also obviously i'm going to put money away for for problems with it and also depreciation money away to buy a new one so i can replace it because that's important I don't want to get two years down the road, me, me badgered, knackered. I've got a good chauffeur who drives it and that. And and, it, and I've got, I need to buy a new one. I've got no money. It's no good. So for each project I've got, 
like a Badger or a Star X, um, people carrier, anything like that, I'm going to put money away to replace them because they get old, they fall apart, you need to replace them. Holes are coming on, it's early days, it's about 7.15 in the morning, we are just starting. I've sent my brother-in-law to buy an axe because he broke me last one yesterday that he was using, so he's gone to buy an axe because I want all these posts the same. You get people who they put the post in and wherever the post land, they stay there and it looks untidy. I like things uniform. We need to put a back, back fence in along here. So I'm going to put get it in before people start claiming that's their land. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.